Well, the annual murder mystery at the castle has grown so popular, they've extended it to, they've got a second weekend now that they do. Right, and maybe next time they need a third. Jaslyn Castle's fundraiser is already on wait list status. Here to make sure we don't miss it next time around, Director of Events, Sherry Moore, and Interim Executive Director, Catherine Demas Maydew. Thanks for stopping in to both of you. Good morning. And I hear that there is a birthday we are celebrating today. Yes, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. birthday. Yes. We made you some Buckeyes. We got you some Buckeyes. <laughs> you get to come on live television. Right. Isn't it's it a great, great. day? Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for coming by. We want to talk about, this is sold out though, but um, mm -hmm. this is a murder mystery is essentially what it is. It's a, explain what it is for people that have not been to this yet. Great, well it's a great group of volunteers um, that come and put on a show. Um, we usually we do three shows, this year we extend it to four shows and they're all sold out. And it's basically finding out who done it. And this year it's Aunt Florence, so everybody wants her money. So we're trying to find out who killed her to try to get her money. I love how you do this because the Jocelyn Castle is the perfect setting for this oh, type yes, of event. it is. Mm -hmm. So how has the popularity grown uh, because obviously it's sold out now and it, it's the first time it's ever sold out, right? Yes, um, you know, it's basically through word of mouth. We start advertising it in November and we start to advertise it's great for Christmas gifts. Mm -hmm. And by the time we roll around to January, it's already sold out and people are still calling and it's, it's a waiting list now, but it's so much fun and basically friends tell friends and very popular. One of our best fundraisers ever for the castle. Do you think one of the reasons why you're sold out is because you have some special performers this Absolutely. year? Absolutely. We have a camera performance on uh, Saturday this Friday. Night. Night. Yes, this Saturday night. Have you night. got him to show up to a rehearsal yet? <laughs> no, not yet. I'm, listen, From what I'm, I hear, he's very busy. I'm working busy. on getting to the rehearsal. <laughs> okay. I, I'll, I'll try to get there for he's the rehearsal. But we, I will be there Saturday night. Yes. And I'm a, I, I don't want to give anything away, but I'm a police officer. Yes, yes. you are. Yes, yes, yes you are. Officer. Actually, I wanted to be a police officer instead of a broadcaster back in college. But Here's your chance. Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> but the Jocelyn Castle, you know, the history is so rich and so deep. Mm -hmm. And Catherine, this murder mystery is not the only thing that you guys threw out throughout the year. What, what other programs do you have We have four have signature on? programs throughout the year. Murder mystery is one. Then we have the classic car show, which we're calling a cruise this year. Mm -hmm. We have the literary festival, and then we have our holiday home tour. And actually, we could add a fifth project or a fifth program the turkey trot which has grown in popularity also which we do around Midtown Crossing at Thanksgiving. But what I'd love to plug is upcoming March Madness at the Castle. Oh. Mondays What's in that March. All about? We are open for tours, ten thirty and twelve thirty. Get on our website, sign up for our tours. In case you have nothing to do during spring break or you have family and friends in town, come over to the castle, get a tour. Can you briefly talk about the history of the Jocelyn Castle? Because I've been there for weddings and different events, and uh, I've been there for a murder mystery as well mm -hmm. in the past. But this, uh, the, physically, this building is so impressive, and there's, mm -hmm. it's so rich in history. Uh, give us a little background on it. Well, Sarah and George Joslin came to Omaha, and you could call George Joslin um, Omaha, America's first media mogul. Came, developed newspapers, and made his millions that way. Then they built their beautiful house in 1903 mm -hmm. as a statement of their wealth, but that's not all they did. They started giving away money, and actually your previous guest was one of our first fundraisers, or one of Sarah and George's first mm -hmm. fundraisers 120 years ago. They had a fundraiser for the VNA. Sarah, wow. and Sarah started the Omaha Community Playhouse. She helped found, obviously, the Art Museum, but they are philanthropic people in Omaha and helped build Omaha. Omaha owes a lot to the, Sarah, to the Joslins, to both Sarah and George. Their house is magnificent. Yeah. We have a famously sold out tour called Unlocked. For, again, for your audience, we're opening up two more this year. Uh, stay tuned on our website for those next two open dates. But people are just thrilled to come and learn the history and, and know about Sarah and George. And later on this year, we're going to do some salon talks to further encourage the development of the history and the education about what the Joslins did and the impact that they made in Omaha. Well, the opportunity for guests, unfortunately, for the murder mystery has passed, unless you want to try and get on that wait list. But there is a way where people can get posted on upcoming mm -hmm. events and then also to make sure they get notified before next year's murder mystery. What do you recommend people do if they're watching right now and they're like, I need to know more about that or I'd like to check out the, the house? Get on our mailing list. We send out emails, we send out newsletters, we send out save the date postcards on all of our activities. So come to our website, sign up, be one of our members. 
Well, listen, we're sold out this week, but I know that one of the reasons you do the tours is because there's some secret passageways <laughs> in the castle. If you know where those passageways are, maybe you can sneak in to the Jocelyn Castle to see the show, uh, the shows this weekend, but maybe not. JocelynCastle.com. What Castle. are you com. suggesting, officer? <laughs> right. JocelynCastle.com is a website. Or give them a call, 595-2199. Not only this weekend, but so many great events throughout the course of the year. Happy birthday, Catherine. Thank Thanks you. for coming. Thank Sherry, good Thank to see you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, from Big Red,